Alright guys, welcome back. We are now on part 27 of Psychon Densetsu 3. Uh, so we are now beginning the end game. Um, I have spent some time leveling up Angela, um, Angela, Lisa, and Duran up to 38 so that we can now get their final class change. So let's go ahead and get them ready. So we'll go ahead and drop that off. So. I have uh, class, both class change items for Duran and Lise, but only one class change item for Angela, and that's fine. Because um, the class change item I have for her is the one that we actually that we actually want, the Arcane Book. This will allow her to go to her Pure Light class, the Grand Divinia, which has better overall stats and actually is one of the better uh, final classes in the game. And then for uh, Lise, she is going to become a Dragon Knight, which is her Light Dark class. Um, or rather, sorry, uh, Dark Then Light, um, which has multi-target, or actually no, we'll, we'll put her at, uh, the Fenrir Knight, which is the, her pure dark class. She keeps her single target stat down, so she gets a summon spell that does a pretty massive damage as well as poisons enemies. And she gets, uh, some really powerful, uh, attacks, basically. And then finally for Duran, we have the choice between the Paladin or the Lord. We're actually gonna go with the Lord which is his light then dark class. Um, the reason for that is because the Lord learns to multi-target his heal light spell. Um, it has around the same stats as the Paladin. Uh, the Paladin learns Saint Saber, but the Lord has a significantly uh, better equipment setup. Um, one of, he has two ultimate shields obtained from weapon armor seeds, one of which makes him completely immune to status ailments. Whereas the, the Paladin's uh, ultimate shield has a random chance to reduce elemental attacks by one shot. Not as good. Alright, so, when doing a class change, instead of just choosing light or dark, we have to have the appropriate items. It doesn't actually use the item from your stock, you just need to have it, to have it and present it to the statue. And also, the Arcane Book is pretty good anyway, because it casts uh, Saint Beam on all enemies. Alright, so now it is Duran's turn. Finally, it is Lisa's turn. And she uses the Gluttonier to become the Fenrir Knight. Of course, with the class changes comes new portraits. But first, let's go ahead and put these back and get those healing items I put away back. Oh, I need to restock. Okay, so as you can see, everyone's class, uh, everyone's class portrait has changed to represent their new status ailment, or to represent their new uh, characters. Um, their equipment also gets significantly better. Um, unfortunately, I don't have anywhere near enough money to afford the stuff from uh, from Padan, and I have not obtained any weapon armor seeds to be able to grow their best equipment. So we're going to be putzing along at uh, lower attack power for a little bit. Anyway, uh, 
Of course, if you are already in God Beast fighting mode, you have to go to the Mana Holy Land to be able to class change. Which has, a, which unfortunately, Flammy cannot land directly at the statue. You can't call Flammy from the statue. You have to actually go back to the entrance of the Holy Land. Yay, backtracking. Alright, anyway. Let's go find an item shop and then start hunting our last god beast. So close, we'll just go to Altina. She will also get a uh, very powerful attack ball. Oh, very nice. I didn't even do anything. God, that's a lot of damage. Anyway, um, meanwhile, I'm busy not dying here. If I could super attack right off the bat. Seed, which I have absolutely no use for now. Well, actually, that's not true. Um, even if you don't have the... Or even after you class change up to the final class, like I said, the actual class change items themselves uh, still have fairly powerful spell effects when you use them. And even... At, uh, whereas when you use the... Um, when you use the class change or the question mark seeds to obtain the class change item, it will only give you the ones appropriate to your particular or to the particular class you have right now. Now that I've actually class changed, however, it will randomly give me any of the class change items for her for the final classes. are a little weird here. You have to walk up them at just the right angle or else you won't let you pass.
to ignore me. Now, the Lord also learns uh, the ability to cast Tinkle Ring, uh, which is basically the equivalent of using a Kapui Grass uh, to remove status ailments. Being that this is a final area, there is obviously a very large maze like structure to it. So it is mostly straightforward. Like, right here is actually just a shortcut to get out. No, no chest. So. And of course, we are definitely killing everything in the path for two main reasons. One, experience, because leveling up is very good. Two, also because um, in the final areas, en uh, enemies that drop uh, weapon armor seeds as well as the question mark sheet seeds show up uh, significantly more often. So you definitely want to start harvesting that stuff. up so he actually learns to multi-target his healing blade, so I don't have to waste nearly as much energy doing this. It also casts us significantly faster. Now, of course, the final techs that I have for these guys are unfortunately all single targets. Um, Lisa, uh, I believe Lisa's uh, Dark Light, uh, the Star Lancer, or not Star Lancer, but um, the uh, Dragon Knight class does learn to uh, a full screen final tech. We're not switching characters. Lesser demons give a crap ton of experience, so you definitely want to spend the time to kill them. But you also have to be careful because they inflict a lot of damage and they have a ton of health. No, I, I can't really complain. I've done it myself too many a boss. Okay, now this is getting a little annoying.
I don't know if you saw it when the Lucky Nine died, but it dropped like around 900 XP. Mm -hmm. Come on. Up we go. There we go. Alright, you know what? Lesser Demons also drop weapon armor seeds in addition to uh, the question mark seeds, but it's a rarer drop than the question mark seeds. Engage the enemy until you tell it to by attacking. If you don't do anything, the AI will just sit there and do nothing. Um, which can get you killed. Of course, sometimes also not attacking can get you killed, so, you know, damn if you do, damn if you don't. learn to multi-target his heal light. As you say it, the stone cracks. Meet the final god beast, Zabel Far, the god beast of darkness. By the way, this is a three or er, boy well, two part fight with three targets. Um, the first two show up. Right now, it's only showing the, the two targets. The third target doesn't show up until later. We are spell spamming to try and speed along the casting of Saint Peter.
generally speaking, it's a good idea to focus fire on one head and then the other. Um, the heads, I believe, have around 5,000 or 6,000 HP a piece. Being the gods of darkness, they mostly attack using dark, el dark elemental. The first half of the fight actually isn't really all that dangerous. The really heavy spells, they just focus the fire on, or the Dark Force is the heaviest spell he has right now. So it's pretty much just, you know, pound it with the hardest attacks you can. Alright, one head's down. So now we need to focus on the second. Once the second head falls, then the fight actually begins. So make sure to keep everybody nice and healthy. If we had Paladin Duran, um, would have had Sun Saber, which would have made things uh, significantly faster. Simply because Duran could Saint Saber himself and Lease and start doing massive amounts of damage. Alright. So the two heads are dead. And now the third head shows up. And now we're pretty much now. Yeah. Oh, well, that happened. Alright, we need to... Yeah. Lovely. I was not expecting to do that much freaking damage. Alright, uh, we'll try that again, but I'm going to take a quick break, so stay tuned guys, I'll be back in a little bit.